So it's been a while since I made a video about the house or being on the house or anything to do with the house apart from the, uh, the update I made sort of way before Christmas. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and Happy New Year to you all by the way. I feel like it's time, New Year, new sort of list to work our way through. I'm going to explain to you and talk to you about what exactly is going to happen in 2020. And there's a lot that's going to happen. Right, let's have a quick look and see what's what. To everyone who's new to the channel, my name is Rodian and welcome. This house behind me, I have been building it for a year and a half now. And also on this channel, we'll do brick lane tutorials. But this house has been on pause for about six months due to various financial reasons. However, that is all about to change. I have had some good news from my solicitors in regards to the house that I'm selling. It looks like we're having a completion date of the middle of February at the latest. So fingers crossed from the middle of February onwards, we're going to get hammering, hammer and tongs, get smashing, get bashing, get crashing, get this house finished ASAP. So between now and then, what are we going to be doing? Well, one of the first things we're going to be doing is clearing this absolute god awful mess up. There's just, as you saw from the beginning, there's just absolute junk everywhere. Oh yeah, my digger. Now, this is another thing I need to do. There's something up with it. This motor here that drives this, this track here is bust. I need a new motor in there to fix that. So for the time being, that is staying there, unfortunately, because I really do quite need it very soon. Got some piles of bricks left over from the house build, which what we're going to do is we are going to be doing some, wait for the car to go past. We're going to do some brick laying that aren't brick laying tutorials. We're going to get some bricks laid on this house, mainly in the form of a garden wall. What I'm going to do, this section here is lower than this section here. This section is going to be, well, is the driveway at the moment. And through here is where it drops down to where the base of the house is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a garden wall all the way along, have some steps here directly opposite the front door, and then have that garden wall continuing on through there. And then there'll be a, a wall up here or a fence between this house and that house and then fence going down the side. But obviously first on the list is tidying up. Then we're going to get some bricks laid down here. Also, Wave Rock, man. Let's go around the back and I'll talk to you about Wave Rock. Wave Rock, right. This has been a bit of a thorn in my side for a while now. Uh, I've been having some thoughts about what to do about Wave Rock and I've come up with a couple of solutions. One. I'm going to get some sort of shuttering put up in front of it and backfill it with concrete. So then we've got a nice, um, nice finish on there. I want to have the finish where you get the, looks like timber boards in concrete. Like you see in all these fancy new houses, uh, fancy modern looking houses. I'm going to have something like that on there and then probably drill a few holes in it, have some plants grown out of it, sort of get a bit of, uh, not really mould, what do you call it? Like moss grown on it, stuff like that. Sort of blend it in with the natural surroundings. Obviously all the trees around here, it's very green. So I'm thinking something like that. I was going to think about doing a big thick sort of six inch block wall and then front it with brickwork to match the house but i think that might be a bit too yellow comments down below let me know what do you think we could do i did also think about railway sleepers but that's just cost way too much money so yeah a few thoughts there i reckon the backfill concrete is probably the cheapest way to go but we got a bit of time to sort that out also a few people have been saying about the scaffolding why have I had the scaffolding up for so long if I haven't been working on the house? It's going to cost me money, yada, yada, yada. So basically, the geezer did the scaffolding for me. It's a friend of mine. I know him. He said, uh, I paid him up front. He just said, keep it as long as you want, no extra costs. So that's why I left it up. If I had to have been paying for it weekly or monthly, then I most definitely would have had it struck straight away. Now, there's a few bits to finish on the roof, namely some ridge tiles and a couple of tiles here and there. I'm going to be getting a roofer in to do that. I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, there is also the lead work and the dormers that need doing. They need um, some cladding outside of that and leading, lead work. Again, I'm getting other people in to do that. So, moves on to what am I actually going to be doing from here? Because originally I was going to be building this whole house completely by myself. Now, in my opinion, I built the house completely by myself. Apart from the roof timbers, but that's, uh, that was a needed, needed thing that someone else could have done. So what am I going to be doing in the meantime? Like I said, we've got to clear the whole job up. The whole place. This place is just completely covered in shite. Oh, timber everywhere, all bits and pieces. The massive hole which I dug up for the sand, but that's going to be... That's, I did that half on purpose because that is going to be the soak away. We're going to have a couple of downpipes coming down here, through here, down here. And also I'm going to have the drainage for all of the, the patio out the back. And that is going to all run down 
into that soakaway. Now I have to put a soakaway cage in there. I've never used a soakaway cage before. I was just going to chuck all my hardcore in there and just pipe it straight in. But apparently I have to have a cage now. So that's something that'll be a new one. Um, so what am I going to be doing? Basically everything outside. I'm going to be doing all the landscaping from here on out pretty much. There are a few bricks that need to be replaced in the build and I will show you those in a future video but probably next week actually maybe the week after but yeah so I'm going to be doing landscaping I know this is the wrong time of year to start landscaping it's sort of the 6th of January something along those lines and we're going to be getting some real cold weather in the next couple of months and I'll tell you what you hear that that's another airplane <laughs> long viewers of the channel know that uh, me and airplanes we are uh, we don't really get on them at the moment so anyway, yeah, I'm going to be doing the landscaping and there will be plenty of brickwork coming in. Also, obviously, I'm going to be doing all of the uh, brick lay, um, the brickwork tutorials. I'm going to keep doing that. So, to the point, what can you guys expect from me in 2020? The house videos are going to start back up, hopefully, either next week or the following week. The bricklaying tutorial videos are going to continue going. Oh, yeah, let me quickly show you something. So, this is what the bricklaying for beginners set I call it a set, looks like when it's not in use. Tarpaulin covering all my bricks, my muck, and the stuff that I did before. But the reason I'm showing you this is because look at the play button that I built. I'll tell you what, that is going really green. Now, I kind of think it looks pretty cool. However, it doesn't look very professional if you ask me. So I was probably gonna jet wash it clean, get it all nice and scrubbed up, repaint the white, and see how it looks from there. What do you guys think? Down in the comments, should I jet wash this and clean it up nice and sprucey and looking all fan dabby dozy? Or do I leave it nice and rustic and, well, I say rustic, it just sort of looks dilapidated and old and I think I'm gonna jet wash it. But yeah, comments down below, please do let me know. Shall I leave it as is or shall I jet wash the bad boy and spruce her up? Also, in regards to the Brick Lane for Beginners series, I believe if you've been following along with uh, the, I, I believe it's sort of like 15 videos I put up now, I can't remember, about the Brick Lane for Beginners, I believe if we followed along, I don't believe you're a beginner anymore. So what I'm going to do is the, the following tutorials I'm going to make, I'm not going to call them Brick Lane for Beginners because I believe if you've got to that point and you're happy with like all the peers and everything else that I've been showing you how to do, I would say you're not a beginner anymore. You're sort of, you're up to an intermediate stage. Obviously, this is in regards to just doing it yourself, not doing it to get paid or anything like that, or if you are an apprentice or something like that. When we get to the pro level, then that is obviously when I think you'd probably be ready to be going out and actually working for other people. At the moment, you can do odd jobs and things like that, but most of this is for people who want to do it a bit more DIY. So for those of you in the comments saying, oh no, no, you're never going to be good as a professional bricklayer, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Being a pro myself, I know exactly what you're saying. But this, the whole reason I was doing this is for the people who are either learning or who are DIYers. And also for those people who are pros, who maybe have a different way of looking and a different way of working and I might be helping you out or not helping you out in certain ways. But anyway, that's for, um, that's for a whole nother topic. So they're not gonna be called Brick Lane for Beginners anymore. We're gonna be going down the intermediate route. So the videos will be called something else from here on out. So I just thought I'd let you know about that. All right, so in regards to what else we're gonna be seeing, I'm going to be starting a new little series coming out hopefully next week if the weather holds up for today and tomorrow. Today's Thursday, uh, today and tomorrow I'll be able to film it and hopefully it'll be coming out next week. But if you don't see it next week then it will be the following week. Hopefully again if I can't get the filming done for this house because I've got a few things that need doing up till then. If I can't get the episode done uh, this week or next week then it will be the following week. So without a shadow of a doubt videos will be starting not next week the following week. But our bricklaying tutorial videos are going to keep going every Friday. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a few changes here and there, but mainly for my own personal gratification, I guess. I miss making these vlogs. I miss making these cinematic vlogs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I'm not going to set myself a date per week or an upload schedule per week for these vlogs to put them out, like say every Wednesday or every Monday or whatever like that because I want to put my own, I guess I want to get as much out of it as I can for me. Because that's the whole reason I started doing this. A little bit selfish as it sounds, but I really enjoy doing this. So what I want to do is I want to make them, I also almost want to try and make them into little mini movies, each one. 
but also do the same sort of thing, talking to the camera, explain what's going on, blah, 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 building stuff, getting it all done. So you're not going to watch a mini movie every week. However, that brings me on to another thing that I'd like to talk to you about. <clears throat> because of all this filming and I had a, a couple of weeks break over Christmas, I've had some fantastic ideas. In my head, fantastic ideas. I'm getting addicted to filmmaking. So what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to write a screenplay slash script for some short movies, some actual short films. So they are going to take quite a while to do. I know also I put up my wedding video yesterday. If you're interested in watching that down in the description, the reason I say that is because that took me over six months to do because I wanted to get it just right. Even though I did that there were a few nuances with it that I didn't like. But anyway, I had to get it out there just so that it was done. So yeah, I, there are, I've got notes for three short films that I want to make. One of them is about brickwork, bricklaying, and two have got nothing to do with bricklaying at all. So what I'll be doing is probably putting them on my other channel. Link down below if you want to check that out. Little plug there. Anyway, but those are going to be sort of way down the line. They're probably not going to be to the summer, maybe even after the summer, autumn, winter time that I'm going to be getting those sort of out there in the world. It's, it turns out it's bloody hard writing a, writing a short film, especially when you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, so those are pretty much the things that are going to be going on this year. Um, also, yes, there's another idea I've had for another series that would probably be a once a month thing. I don't want to be doing it too often because it's going to be quite, uh, quite a task. But I will be doing a post on the community page about that when I know more about it. And I'll probably let you know in another video about that. But it's something I'm not going to tell you just yet because I'm finalising what I want to do with it. But how it work, when I work out how I want it to work, because it's going to involve all of you guys as well. It's going to be basically, you're going to pick certain things and I'm going to do it. That's probably letting away too much, but you guys are going to be basically dictating how this is going to work. But there'll be more information about that coming soon. I believe that is pretty much everything I wanted to say. This was just a, a sort of bring you up to speed. Again, I know I did a, a little bring you up to speed before Christmas, but a bring you up to speed of what's going to happen in 2020. So... In reflection, we're going to have the bricklaying tutorials, hopefully every Friday, if not Thursday, Friday. We're going to also have the vlogs for the house, hopefully starting in a couple of weeks. Also another series that I'm going to be starting that I'm not going to commit to saying it's going to be every week, purely because I don't particularly, I, I want to do it for me. So I don't want the mass stress of trying to put out stuff, put out videos just because it's Tuesday or whatever. I'm not going to put stuff out if I don't think it's good enough. That is going to be my main aim for 2020. I'm not going to put videos out unless I think that they're good enough. They give you a message, they give you uh, inspiration, they give you, uh, they teach you something. It's not gonna be, I don't just wanna throw out videos. So that is my main aim of 2020 to, is to up my, also yeah, is to up my production, up my audio, up my visual effects. I wanna try visual effects. So we're, I'm, I'm really trying to push it this year. So yeah, so vlogs for the house. We got Brooklyn tutorials, the little mini series, and also the additional probably monthly series that's going to come out as well. So stick around, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video because 2020 is going to be a banger of a year. So let's get going. Right, that'll be it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Brooklyn tutorials. So take care. See you later. Ta ra. Talk though, have you. Oh, I fucked it already. <laughs> Fuck your first words. But I digress. Oh no, let's start that again. Let's do that properly because I'll explain what I want about because a few people have subscribed since Christmas. Let's start that again. To all you new subscribers, my name is Rodin. Now, to all of the new subscribers, to those of you new to the channel, something like that. Bricklaying tutorials and this house behind you, behind you, behind me, this house behind me. What? <laughs> Tell you what, 2020 is going to be rife with the outtakes, I think. Right, let's start that again.